Akona Makalema, 28-year-old FIFA referee since 2014. She'll be in charge of today's EPSA Premiership tie as the season concludes. There she is, the only female referee in South African football, Akwana Makalima. Please welcome her onto the show. Here she comes. And you will not recognize her because Akwana, I know, Uncle Ume, Uncle Ume, just, 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 just. Yeah? Is this what you look like when you're not in referee's outfits? No, yes, I look like this all, Hi, almost all the I time. I am absolutely shocked. Please take a seat, ma'am. Thank you so much, guys. Eh? You look amazing. Thank you so much. Wow. Thomas. Okay. So let's start with refereeing. Mm -hmm. How did you start? Why? Well, I started off. I was uh, I was a soccer player before. So when I decided that okay, I'm no longer getting going anywhere with football, there was a d uh, program that was running in the Eastern Cape about developing women referees. Mm. Then I took that opportunity. I used to play soccer. Bon swim. Yes, very good. Where? Who they used to call me Zidane. Zidane. It means I was good. Bo Zizu. <laughs> Zizu. Yes. So and then why is why in? Because there was no development in the Eastern Cape and I had to change. Yes. Then and you I said, I know, I'm going to become a babes old. and bambi. I was old. No, a babes and bambi. Yes, uh. it's fine. If you call me like that. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did it take you? What um, was the process to go from, I want, I'm a footballer, but ah, to get to the Premier League? You know, it took me about um, three, four years. Only? Yes. I, I think I, sta I stopped playing 2011, uh. 2012, then I started referring, 2011, August. Yes, I started, I started officiating like on the Sasol Absa, then I went and do my level, my level three refereeing, ran my fitness test, 2012, 2013, then I was in the, I was in the SAB and I was doing Vodacom, now called the um, ABC. Mm. Mm -hmm. Take me to February 2015 when they tell you, Tax and Pumalanga Black Aces, Akon, you will be refereeing in the APSA Premiership. Okay, first, and f first of all, I wasn't really shocked because I knew, I knew that I was ready to officiate because officiating obviously is just officiating any game. Any game is just like, if I'm, 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 I'm on the APC, I'm, it's one and the same thing, you apply the same laws. But hey, the only thing that yes. I was thinking was that, okay, all the cameras would be looking at 26 me. cameras around the field. You that was the only thing that I was scared of. I'm like, okay, every decision would have to be scrutinized. <laughs> and tell the truth, Monday, well, to why Monday. Soccer zone years on Monday. My Wednesday is <laughs> on Saturday. Exactly. Monday is your good. I was like, okay, oh my goodness. What are, they, what are they going to say about me Monday? But when I look at the Monday night, there was nothing. So it, it means it was fine. Well, surrounded by my daughter. Mm -hmm. Do they ever try and intimidate you as a woman? Do they, you ever feel like, you know, they're trying to, you know, because when there's a decision, we see it. They get mm -hmm. close. They, yeah. There's noise. Sometimes even a little bit of a push on the ref. What is that like for you? They can do all sort of things that would intimidate you, but you you see you need you need to stamp your authority on the first whistle. You know I'm very I, I smile. That's one thing I do. But when I'm in the park, I don't just smile. I can make sure that I intimidate you. If I say, "Hey, you move, you move." Let's That's talk. Let's look at that in action because we have a moment where you showed what you know. Yeah. This is a no no nonsense referee. Uh, let's take a look <laughs> at this, and you can take us through this moment as well. It's. Sundowns, now, so you, it's Platinum Stars Sundowns. It's Sundowns mm -hmm. in a crowd. You point to the spot against Sundowns. Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> that was the correct decision at the time. And then, <laughs> correct decision, but I love this part. Look now. Oh, Rama is trying to be like, ay, 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 ay. And then, slow, cool, calm. You have to be calm and collected. Yeah? Yes. You have to be calm. Do you enjoy this though? Is this a good moment when you go, ta ta? I'm enjoying <laughs> it. I'm enjoying it. I love it. Yeah? I get, I, I'm loving it. It's very good. How hard is it to make a decision, a big decision like that, penalty, against a huge club like Mami Lodi Sundowns? I think you don't have to think that I'm going to make this decision. If you think, you will always make a wrong decision. Mm. You have to look at the situation right now. This is the situation, but this is a penalty. If this happens, this is, this is supposed to be happened. Have you ever given a red card? Yes. In the Premier League, though? Y yes. And? Talks. 
Number seven. Like, yeah, I, I, I have given a red card. Aunavalo. No. Red. No. If you do something that warrants a red card, I give you a red card and it's clean. What do you like the most about being the woman in the middle? In the black, in the middle. You know, I like the fact that they have to go about my rules. I like the fact that I have to stamp my authority. And I like the fact that I am making a change. So everyone that is watching me, like, OK, this is a woman. She is a ref. I like the fact that people can watch and say, this, tomorrow I want to be this. I like that. Is there more I'm pressure it. on you as a woman referee in the premiership where it's never been really like that. I think there was, I can think of one other name. I think Deirdre Mitchell was mm -hmm. uh, a woman that did it, but she's disappeared. The pressure's on you now. You're the only one. Yes, I, I don't feel a pressure, but obviously the media and, and all would give you pressure that, hey, when is your next game? When are we going to see you again? Mm. That's the pressure with that we are getting. So for me, I'm, going, I'm, I'm undergoing programs that can that can stabilize me, that can help me, you understand, so that I, can, I don't feel the pressure, the media pressure, and all those things that are surrounding us as female referees. So you need to, you need to equip yourself in regards to that. What's your advice? There are young girls, young women at home right now saying, I just didn't ever think of this, but now actually I'd love to do that. What's your advice? I would only say if you want to be a referee or you, if you want to do anything, you need to step out and do it. If you have that dream, you need to go there. You need to make sure, and you must not allow anyone to do favors for you. Everything that you do, you must make sure that you're doing it correct and straightforward. It's not easy. I don't want to say it's going to be easy. No, it's not going to be easy. But you need to make sure. You need to live your dream. A dream without action is just, you, you're just wasting your time. Your biggest difficulty, because you say it wasn't easy. What was your biggest difficulty? My biggest difficulty w was to run and pass the men's test. The, that fitness test? That was, that's one thing that was difficult for yeah, me. Yeah, trapper. It's very hard, but if you put your mind into it and you train for it and you are disciplined, the, the only thing that you need is discipline. If you are disciplined, you invest in yourself. What do they make you go through? That was difficult. Because there's obviously a women's test if you're only doing it for women's refereeing and women's games. Why is the men's test harder? What do they do? It's not that difficult. It's, it's only seconds. So, but the, push stop watch. Yeah, it's just, the, it's just seconds. That's the difference. So, you must do a certain distance in yes, a certain time. at a certain time. Yeah, see a sprinter. Then mm -hmm. long distance, certain time. If you yeah. don't do it, you then out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to meet the male standard for that. Exactly. You need to train. You need to eat right. You need to change your program. If I fail now, I need to go back to my drawing board. It's okay, what did I do? What, did, what went wrong? Uh. You understand? So if I did this, then I failed. It means I must go back to my, to, to, to my drawing board. I changed my trainers. I, my, tra my trainer went to Zimbabwe. Then I had to go and look for another trainer. I have to look at my diet. I had to all sort of things. So you need to, you need to invest in yourself. If you have injuries, undergo a physio, a physio, you need to invest in yourself. Ref, what's your biggest dream? What is it in football that you would love the most to be able to achieve? Well, I am looking for a World Cup. The Women's, the women's World Cup, I'm looking for that mm. now. Obviously, I am still working hard on getting on the AFCON in December. I am hoping, I'm working hard. Le AFCON, in Cameroon. Le Cameroon. Yes, in Cameroon. I'm hoping in Cameroon. This oh, the women's. Yeah, the women's. The women's. The women's. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, the okay. women's of uh, So I'm hoping. I'm working hard for that. But why am I hearing you focusing on women's football events? But here you're doing it with the men. Are I you not looking to do that? Break through that barrier. If and if I can be given that opportunity, and they say um, women are now allowed to officiate in the in the in, in the international. Is it not allowed right now? For now, there is no way. They, I've never heard of it, but in the, in, in the, it's written somewhere that if you want to do, if you want to officiate in the men's tournament, mm. you need to run and pass the, the, men's test. the men's test. Yes. So if we were to be given that opportunity, obviously I'll go for it. And if it, it means that I'll be the first lady, then I can work for hard and be it. I know that I'm the change. I know that everything that I want, I can get it any day. Akona, Makalim. Yes.
<laughs> thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for your contribution to football and thank you for inspiring every girl at home to go further than they ever thought they could be. They can boss the men, right? Yeah, they can. I've done it and they can. Thank you so much, Mr. Thomas, for having me. Oh, what a great one. I love it. And there you have it. We got Champonino on the bench. Champonino, what's happening? Hey, come. You have like a female referee. Eh? That's the only referee that you won't throw anything, Gwen. <laughs> I have an advice for you. Was, whatever happens, Ullewen. <laughs> just cry. Unola, you. Hey, but again, it's that time of them. Unola, fella, when. You'll be fine. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sharp, sharp. I'm going to go to the next one. No one cares about it. We're getting a star next week. <laughs> Back to you, Thomas. I can't sing the whole song, but you know. Have you ever heard that song? Not in front of me. <laughs> They'll never sing it in the park. <laughs>